The next item on the agenda is to look at uh, the draft for bylaws, rules of order, and change in the meeting format for borough council meetings. This information was distributed to um, borough council at the work session. I asked you all to take a look at it. I know there have been some questions, and uh, given the weather and our desire to get out early from this meeting uh, for the public and for the school district so that they can close the, business, the uh, building, uh, I would uh, like to entertain a very brief discussion and would be um, amenable to continuing this discussion at our next borough council meeting. So does anyone have any comments at this time? I was hoping you were going to say you were going to put this off for, for the next <laughs> meeting. Um, I, I took a look at them. I do have some comments and, and opinion um, that I think would open up a lot of discussion. Uh, my uh, a suggestion is, and I didn't have, I apologize, I didn't have enough time to uh, put my thoughts down on paper and get them to you. Um, uh, so I would suggest, uh, I have tons of comments on, on this and, and, and ideas, um, one of which I think is around public to be heard, which it sounds like the, uh, the policy is, is um, the one that we're using today, hopefully be the one that's in our bylaws. Um, but my suggestion is can we spend a little bit more time reviewing this and, and putting our thoughts down on paper and maybe saying it all to you. So, and, and maybe you could circulate all our comments to everybody. I, I, do, I just have a general conceptual problem with the bylaws. I thought we, the Borough Code of Pennsylvania was the governing Bible for us to follow as we discussed regarding uh, ethical standards. And I think we need to give Paul the opportunity, I think, Julia, to review mm -hmm. the documents you've promulgated. He's had not had a chance to do that, I guess, yet. So I think more time would be appropriate. Okay. Um, that that's, sounds like a, a good idea. Do you want to make a motion to uh, ask the solicitor to review and make his comments regarding the bylaws, the rules? So moved. Okay. Is there a second? A second. Okay. It's been moved, moved and seconded. Any discussion? M my discussion. My only discussion point is: would 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 it be wise to um, to give Paul a, a more final draft before? he does some work on these because I, I think some of my comments may, may change these, well, hopefully if I can convince <laughs> you to change them, um, rather drastically, so. Well, I, I appreciate my, my, I'm, I'm having a conceptual problem with the whole thing. Yeah. I, I'm not down into the sandbox yet, I'm having a conceptual problem with it. Going back to my observation about what governs our conduct, I don't want to see a set of bylaws that we're going to subscribe to that might put us in a situation that is less tenable than the ones we, we might yeah. be guided by in, in, in yeah. the Pennsylvania Borough Code. So to the extent that I want him to look at it, I want him to conceptually look at it first step. First step, okay. bylaws and borough. The bylaws, so does, 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 does it live in harmony? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Okay, so this motion then is on the question of whether we even go there yes. to discuss bylaws and rules yes. order, whatever they may be. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I, just to clarify that we're all on the same page then, it, it sounds as though the council is essentially asking me as an initial matter to just provide some form of opinion as to the propriety or uh, legality of adopting rules and bylaws in general, and then as those actual rules and bylaws, lo, bylaws are developed, then to take, assuming that we move to that step, then to take a look at what is actually being proposed. So it would be an ongoing process. Okay. Uh, I just want to add, add uh, Julia's behalf here, this is, a, a, I believe, a commendable effort to, to write down what our, what our procedures are. At the organizational meeting, some questions came up about do we follow Robert's rules of order, do we not? We all looked at each other, and then most of us then ran home and found tattered copies of Robert's rules of order and found that the, the issue that raised the question isn't even covered in Robert's rules of order. So, so the president of the council is, tr is trying to get, get some standards mm -hmm. here into place so that we all know what we're, how we're going to how we're going to operate our meetings every every yeah. every month, so it's it's a good effort. Let's uh, I, I I would tend to I agree with Bob's recommendation that let's let's get an idea on whether it's appropriate legally appropriate for to do this in the first place, and then let's then let's start the email flurries and come back and vote. If, if I could just take a moment, I, I just want to follow up with what you started, Perry, and that is the whole idea of do we need them? Seems to me that's uh, that's to be preceded by are they legal? And I'm looking at <coughs> something I've used over the years, which is put out by the uh, Pennsylvania State Association of Boroughs. It's a nice handy little guide. I recommend it highly if anyone wants to get it. And it's a quick uh, summary of things which are usable in a public meeting. But what strikes me is really significant for our purposes tonight is the appendix. Appendix number one, sample bylaws. 
Appendix number two, sample rules of order. Appendix number three, sample borough council committee structure. And then it goes on and on. But it starts out with sample bylaws. So my point is that, that this is uh, a process, this collection, which has been put together as a process which is used throughout the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, so much so that the State Association of Boroughs memorializes it in forms which can be used by boroughs. So this is not inventing the wheel or reinventing it. It's, uh, it's what boroughs do. So, you know, to the, to the point or to the question, I, I don't want to see this go into a question to the solicitor of, gee, is it legal? Well, of course it is. Second, it's done elsewhere. I mean, it's done everywhere. So, um, you know, if we're going to have them, and they are proposed, I think we had to work with them, look at the substance of them, and to, uh, to the point about uh, getting them in a form for review, give them to the solicitor. But with all due respect, Bob, it's done all over the Commonwealth, probably every one of the 50 states that has boroughs, too. I mean, that's what boroughs who really are interested in being uh, organized and modern do. Now, granted, there might be a borough out somewhere in upper western Pennsylvania, you know, population 60, that feels they don't need it. But, um, you know, it is something which is standard out there. So I, I don't want particularly the public to be left with a question, uh, gee, why are we doing this? Seems unusual. It's not. It's, it's very standard. Just to, to clarify, and, and I would agree with Mike's statement, um, the, both the Sunshine Act and the Borough Code specifically uh, provide and allow for a borough council or a governing body to adopt rules uh, governing its uh, actions, and I believe it specifically mentions the bylaws as well. So uh, my initial review certainly wouldn't be to that question. I think that's pretty clear, but rather to the parameters of those rules in general um, and probably referencing the, the samples that are provided by the state association as well um, as sort of a jumping off point. Um, as a question as far as advisability, I think that's another issue besides legality, and I would certainly offer my opinion as to that as well. All right, so we will put that on the work session agenda for March and uh, look forward to that, Paul. Okay. okay. I believe there is. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, there is a motion on the floor to authorize um, our solicitor to do this review. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, all those in favor? Did we have a second? I guess that's the question. Of course. Yeah, okay. I had second. second I guess I, I just want to clarify since we went back to that. Are we authorizing the establishment of bylaws? Because no. that, that's, that's what you had intended, right? The, we were authorizing the solicitor just the review to, of the bylaws that to we okay. um, render an opinion regarding the the um, appropriateness of bylaws. Right. And and I believe it would be more Can of an ongoing discussion because the bylaws. Yes. The, will be discussed and so on. Okay. okay. I, I, I think you just sure. rendered that opinion. Right. Um, right. So. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm listening to Bob and listening to Paul, and uh, this is what, I, I, what I'm thinking. Bob made reference to there being ethical standards. There may be, there may be standard bylaws, standard rules of order that, it, that, it, that the solicitor may suggest we just go by rather than drafting our own. Is, is, is that the question yes. that, that you're asking? I, I think that's right. still a fair question. I, I think there are there are potential implications of there are potential implications of adopting rules and bylaws, and I, I think it would be for me to sort of point that out to council um, and address potential concerns. And I think that might be Bob's concern of of not just whether you can adopt rules, but whether you want to. Um, for general, I mean, obviously there is an administrative reason, and, and you all will decide that. But from a legal standpoint, there may be implications that I'd want to look into as to what the effect could be. And that's something that I would want to provide in an opinion, which I'm not providing tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, we still have a motion on the floor. Have we, do we want to restate it? I think we know what it is. Do we know what it is? Okay, mm -hmm. to authorize um, our solicitor to advise us regarding the legality and the appropriateness and the um, pros and cons of having uh, bylaws and rules of order for council. Is that fair? Okay. Fair. Yep. Okay. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Okay. 